we have some very interesting videos from all around the internet that are going to make us rethink everything. Thank you, Stacy, for the videos. There's a documentary that you guys need to watch. It's called The Grab Documentary. This investigative journalist finds out that the new war is food and water. China mm. does not have enough water to grow food for their own country. So that's why they're going to Africa and to the U.S. and mm. buying up farmland to send it back to feed their own country. It basically just shows how vulnerable our world is, but also how America <laughs> is just like letting in all yes. these different countries, China, Saudi Arabia. What they're doing is depleting our resources. It's insane. But it's basically talking about how Russia right now is like melting away. Mm. So it's producing this like rich grassland. And wow. it talked about how Putin is heavily investing in cattle right now and actually hiring U.S. cattlemen to come live in Russia, continue growing the cattle farms. Really? It's showing how all these different countries are just trying to grow their yeah. infrastructure of food and water. Also, Ukraine is like one of the best spots in Eastern Europe for growing food. They said that Ukraine produces 23% of the world's grain. That was probably a reason that Russia is trying to take over Ukraine is like gaining more control of food. This is how you lose people. The Acolyte canceled. My Lady Jane canceled. Shadow and Bone canceled. Lockwood and Co. canceled. Fate Wing Saga canceled. The Great is canceled. The Society canceled. And with an E, Mind Reader, The Alienist, all canceled. What is the point of watching anything anymore? <laughs> if it's just gonna get canceled, what really is the point of streaming services? Like My Lady Jane just came out in June and it's already canceled in August. It wasn't even given the chance for target audiences of the show to watch it yet. And this is why more and more people are not even starting new shows until they at minimum have two seasons out. Because the mm. likelihood that they're going to get canceled because the streaming services do not portray them as being automatically successful gets higher and higher by the day. My Lady Jane came out in June and it was officially canceled this month and we were told there would be no second season. Less than three months. They gave their show less than three months to find a target audience. I have shows that came out years ago I still want to watch but just haven't had the time. And you expect this perfect audience to be able to watch it immediately? The only message that that sends is that you have zero faith in your own product. Ooh. And if you don't have faith in it, why would we? A lot of people don't know shows exist until they're put on streaming services like i think all american i think it's a, a a great example to use because that was shown on a service i don't even remember what it showed on but they put it on netflix went up manifest i was watching manifest when it was actually on tv but when they put it on netflix went up so don't sleep on what you have you might have such a great season a great plot a great storyline for your show it's just not on the right platform Thank you, Hector, for the next couple of videos. Maybe actually everything is just a distraction. It is. I don't care how long he works and I don't care what he does. There is no job worth $2 million a year. That's why they pay athletes these fantastic salaries. I was listening to the radio the other day. They just contracted to pay one, one player on one team $6 million a year. Can you believe this? And why is that? It's the Roman circus. What does the emperor do when the people become restive, when the people are asking questions, and when the people don't like the policies of the emperor? He sends them to the circus. He creates a circus. He builds a giant coliseum. Then he begins to throw the Christians to the lions. He has great chariot races and football games and basketball games, all to keep the idiots preoccupied with things that don't mean anything in the scheme of the entire world so that they don't have the time to learn what the truth is so they don't ever get smart enough to learn how they're being manipulated as always thanks for watching so they don't weird. ever question the emperor this movie we have to talk about end of days this is interesting because in this movie uh, i saw this movie it's unusual you're usually fighting you fight a liquefied robot you know the standard villains in this movie you're fighting the devil now now this is a great idea i thought arnold has fought everybody he has not fought i call him beelzebub lucifer it's how i got this job how did you prepare for the role of, of fighting with the devil i hung out with my mother-in-law a lot no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever you do a film like this where you fight a satan or the devil you uh, have to prepare yourself the right way and so i did research and satanic kind of cults and stuff like that. As, you know, as a matter of fact, in Los Angeles right now, there's like 50,000 devil worshippers. And that's not even including, that's, that, that's, not even in, that's not even including the agents. Yeah. <laughs> Our crowd was too busy cheering satanic worship to hear yeah, the joke. Yeah, it takes a lot of research and, and all that stuff. And we have various different religious leaders be part of this whole research. Thank you, Des, for the next couple of videos. When thousands of hours research and different conspiracies all lead back to the same perpetrators. Yep. Yep. Yep.
This might be the most polite criminal ever, but he didn't expect the owner to do what she did. Surveillance footage shows a man with after-hour cravings trying to get into a Canadian bakery at 3 a.m. Unable to get in, he eventually kicked in the glass door, but it's what he did when he got inside that confused everyone. He just sat down for a while before trying to clean up all the broken glass with a mop. Then he took some selfies on the store's phone, oh, he used was the drunk. bathroom, and hung out for an hour before leaving with six cupcakes. The owner put the video online because she thought it was hilarious and it went viral. The man noticed himself from the video and instantly called the owner apologizing and offering to pay for the repairs. But instead of pressing charges on the man, she decided to honor him with his very own signature cupcake decked out with the orange sunglasses he had on in the selfies. That's an example of turning negativity into positivity. And then on top of that, she used a very smart marketing strategy. She marketed that very well because she could have went a whole different route, but she used what was supposed to be negative on her shop and flipped it for the positive. I want to know how many people have actually bought that, that cupcake. The reason Michael Jackson was accused of the child the reason those fake charges were put on Michael Jackson is at the time, Michael Jackson was actually in the process of offering a bid to buy Marvel Comics. Michael Jackson was going to be the owner of Marvel Comics and the owner of the Beatles catalog. Think about that for I know a that, and that one, is but part of the reason Marvel. why the white power structure of this country decide to ultimately destroy him publicly and then take his life. Michael Jackson was a financial genius. Could you imagine if Michael Jackson was the owner of Marvel? When when Black Panther was created, could you imagine how much more fascinating that movie and every other movie out of the Marvel studio would have been with Michael Jackson's DNA all over it? Michael Jackson was in the process of buying Marvel, and that's why he had to be accused of those children. Ray Mysterio, there was a big incident with him that happened early in his wrestling career. Yeah. Him and another famous high flyer Mexican wrestler, right? Mm -hmm. They were planning to do a big match, USA versus Mexico. You know, like how wrestling is scripted and stuff, mm -hmm. and how at the end of every wrestling match, there's a guy that does a signature move. I used to really think this was real. Ray, the whole match was going fine until the <laughs> end because it went off script. What so happened? the Mexican wrestler, he was supposed to be in line for a 619. Yeah. But when Ray Mysterio did like this weird move, he got sent over the ropes. Mm -hmm. He hit his back on like the edge of the ring. Yeah. Right? Ooh. So he was like, okay, I, I gotta get back into the ring. Like, this is not how the match ends. He goes back in the ring. Ray Mysterio drop kicks him, but he drop kicks him in the same spot that he just got hit in. Mm -hmm. So he's hanging on the ropes like this and everybody's like oh yeah go for the 619 ray does the 619 you know how like usually after like the guy falls yeah, yeah. yeah. he's still there like this oh he back fam it's crazier ray was like oh what's going on ray told the ref yo tell him wake up wake up yeah he's just fam the ref calls the match five minutes later he no oh, it was a I famous didn't... mexican wrestler and ray got so much backlash because of is that real i thought they were capping i did I had to go over to Google. That man really died. Look, the legend who lost his life wrestling Rey Mysterio. I can't imagine. I Oh, wow. I never heard of this story. That man really died. So this was all on national TV too? Oh, no. Nah. Every year, 15 million pounds of artificial food dye is put into food. Yep. And a lot of those foods are marketed towards kids, mm -hmm. especially something like this little fruit snack, or quotes, fruit snack. Uh, has a lot of these dyes in it. And, you know, these dyes are really, they're linked to behavior problems in kids, ADHD, even autism. And, you know, I used to think food dye, that's just food dye. It does, it's not good, it's not bad, but I've really seen a big link with uh, uh, diseases in my kids, my patients, uh, allergies, uh, other inflammatory diseases, behavior problems, it's a, it's a big problem. Well, and, and if you look at the data, very high likelihood that food coloring may cause some behavioral disorders. The FDA acknowledges red number three mm -hmm. as a known carcinogen, a chemical that could cause cancer, and yet it's still approved for use. So yeah. again. Other important ones, red number 40, yellow number That's five, and yellow number six. I posted this video. Makeup was for dead people, right? And old people. And then I don't know what time it happened where Isn't we started putting this stuff on. But it's ridiculous. Yeah. If you having skin issues, that means that the, the way that you're consuming your lifestyle is not serving you. So why patch it up? Fix the problem. You don't need to wear makeup. 
if you consume right, exercise, That's hydrate it. yourself That's it. with natural foods. I don't wear makeup. I don't do any of that because I truly accept myself for who I am and what I am. And to help that process, I consume a certain way. I live a certain way. So you're going to radiate when you change your life in the fullness, holistically. So there's no excuse. <laughs> Before y'all attack, <laughs> I'm just the messenger. I didn't even make the video. I just wanted to say that I don't think that there's nothing wrong with wearing makeup, but when you wear it continually, when you wear it constantly, when you feel like you can't leave the house without it, that's a problem. I wore mascara a lot. Mascara enhances my eyes. Mind you, nothing wrong with that. But it was to a point where I couldn't leave my house unless I had it on. I said, oh no, <laughs> we can't move like that. You have become like a god to me. You have become like an idol to me because I can't do nothing unless I have this on. I'm learning to just love my natural and I do this because I know that there's other women watching and I want them to be able to love themselves naturally and to not go for all the stuff that the world pushes out. Again, don't shoot me, I'm just the messenger. We're all beautiful, Yahuwah does not make mistakes. I just want you to remember that. You are a beautiful human being who was fearfully and wonderfully made. And everything that Yahuwah makes has a purpose and a function. I promise you he didn't mess up. How he made you was perfect. You will makes no mistakes. Thank you, Hector, for the video. That'd be my last day as a marine biologist <laughs> going down there in the that? depths of hell in the bottom of the ocean. That thing has a face. That's almost human-like. Nope. Right there. You think that little thing's a puppy. You want to pet it? Nope. No. It'll probably eat your crouch first because it's deadly. See that? I can see through that. We shouldn't be down there. You should get your ass out of the water. This is why you don't go in the ocean. You see that? That's a dangerous slip and slide. It's got more holes in it than Swiss cheese. That Chill is something out. out of my goddamn nightmares right there. I'll never That's ever AI. put my toe in a bathtub AI. again. Look at that. That's Predator Shredder under the water. Predator Did you know those things existed? Nope. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm never even going fishing again. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, JD, for the video. Everything is free. That's the matrix. Mm. When you realize that everything is free, food is free, water is free, shelter is free, it just take a little labor. Every fruit bears seeds. It just take a little labor to make it. That's it. Again. Everything is free. That's it. Somebody decided that it had a monetary value. Somebody, we know who, mm -hmm. decided. We were civil before this. We understood that. We only took what we needed. That's how we had balance. So this matrix is not some like cog in the machine. We're plugged up to some system we got to break free from. No, we got to realize that a small percentage of these people decided to exploit areas and, and determine what the value is. Gold is literally free. It comes from the earth naturally. Oil is free. Energy is free. It just takes a little labor. People should get paid for the ideas, but the idea was free. You're going to make us pay for things that Yahuwah gave us for free? <laughs> Y'all know where I got that. You're making us pay for grapes, apples, things that God gave us for free? Ha! You will burn in hell when I'm through with you. You will not be allowed in my father's house at all. <laughs> no, but I'm sorry. That just immediately popped in my head when I thought about that because it's so true. Like, Yahuwah really gave us dominion over the earth, but somebody came in and was like, ah, we're going to profit off of this. Nice neighborhood. Oh. Hey, you want to take your trash in? Yeah. Yeah, let me help you with that. Thank you. I got you. Man, you look nice. Thank you. Uh, been seeing you around. You new to the neighborhood? Yeah, my husband and I just moved in about. Hey, who? My husband. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> take a look at this world map. What if I told you that the distance from here to here is 6,400 kilometers, but from here to here which looks half the size, is actually 7,200 kilometers. How, Sway? Africa is often shown much smaller than it truly is. What if I told you Greenland is actually this size, or Russia is this size, 
or that the US and Canada are way smaller than they appear. Why do they do that? Check out the real map. Sweden, Finland, and Norway are much smaller now, and Greenland is tiny. Maybe the older maps weren't exactly practical. This video is going viral of this girl breaking down reasons why men should have to pay on the first date. But this guy breaks down all of her reasons <laughs> and the number value he arrives Sorry. at is shocking. So she starts off by listing all the different products that she has to purchase in order to make herself look good I for know her she date. Lying. And the products she's purchasing are quite expensive when you really look at it. And so what he does is he calculates the cost per use for each of the items. So if you look here at the top, it says $98 for a 150 milliliter bottle. So that's 65 cents for one use if one use is about one milliliter. So example, one of these other products, she uses four drops in the video, that's which funny. is equivalent to about 65 cents for that product for the date. And as she continues, he keeps tallying up the numbers and they go pretty high because she's claiming that her total value for her makeup for that one date was $758. But when he tallies up all the units per use, it's $12.05. <laughs> It's equivalent to a small Big Mac meal. <laughs> but what do you guys think about this? Fiona from Shrek is a cannibal. Before she got rescued by Shrek, she was locked away in a tower and guarded by a dragon. So how would she get access to food if no one could go in to give it to her and she couldn't go out to get any? Well, that's where the dragon comes in. You can see there's a cauldron of boiling water in the castle and there's a cookbook right next to it. And the recipe in that book is nightly treats. So Fiona has been surviving off of all of the knights that have tried and failed to rescue her. After all, just look at all the skeletons laying around the castle. It's no coincidence that all the meat is gone and all that's left is bone. To be fair though, Fiona may not technically be a cannibal if she ate them while she was in her ogre form. It was probably the only way she could stomach such a heinous act. And it could be why she had second thoughts about permanently becoming an ogre, because she was worried she would resort back to those old eating habits. But in the end, it's what she needed to do in order to survive. Thank you, JD, for the videos. Proof that Balenciaga turned their models into a mannequin. This Balenciaga mannequin was a real person. There is a theory that Balenciaga has been turning real life models into mannequins to that be look used like a real in person. their stores. Well, you'll see. There was this model from Balenciaga named Christopher G. They only got black well models? Known in the industry and posed nice. for many different Balenciaga nice. campaigns. Nice. But one day he mysteriously vanished with his family and friends not knowing where he went. Interestingly enough, just around the time he disappeared, a lifelike mannequin <laughs> showed up at one of Balenciaga's flagship stores. And if you take a closer look at the mannequin, it looks exactly like Christopher G. With everything that's been going on behind the scenes with Balenciaga, is it possible that they actually turned their model into a mannequin? I think I said this before, but I'm gonna say it again just in case somebody didn't see that video. I don't know if y'all have seen The House of Wax, but if you haven't, I would highly recommend for you to go watch that. Because again, they put this stuff in movies to let y'all know what they're doing. That was that man. Y'all can't tell me otherwise. Y'all can't. You still think the Oscar goes to the best performance in a movie role? Aw, oh, that's sweet. What if it was given for a role that you're not supposed to know about? A secret role, a hidden role, a role hidden in plain sight. A role that if you knew about, you might just stop going to comedy shows and watching those movies. But sometimes, if you're paying attention, they leave us clues because they love to mock how dumb we are. Case in point, Benicio Del Toro. Have you ever thought about his name? Well, the name Benicio is derived from the name Benedict. And Benedict just happens to be associated with the biggest traitor in the United States history. And Del Toro, well, of the bull. If you're not talking about bull in terms of animals, bull means untrue. So his name literally means traitor of the untrue. And well, Emma Stone, she won an Oscar recently, and she looks an awful lot like the new star of Fallout, Ella Purnell. Ella and Emma sounds kind of familiar. And Purnell, do you know who the 
biggest producer and supplier of stone is? Well, A.R. Purnell just happens to be the premier supplier in all of the UK of blue stone. Mm. So like I said, they tell us right in plain sight, Emma, Ella, Stone, biggest supplier of stone, Purnell. These awards are not what you think. And once you realize that, well, you'll stop looking up to these phony baloney liars because they're all in on the act. All of them. But that was sure nice of them to let Brad Pitt's wife present it to him while he was in costume. That was thoughtful of them. Maybe they are actually nice people and just trying to entertain us, not deceive us. Of course not. They wouldn't do that at all. They're well-meaning people on TV. I love watching TV and looking up to them. So great. So fun. Such a great way to pass the time. This is all for entertainment purposes, of course. Never watch what somebody else does. It does not matter. Bernie mm. Mac got to do a thing. One of the greatest lessons I learned in life, I learned running track, and that is to run your own race. And it really applies to life because when you go out there on that track and you try to mimic the next man's race plan, it almost always backfires because you haven't done the repetitions and put your body in the circumstances to execute that race plan effectively. That's why you got to play to your own strengths and weaknesses because the day that you try to be better than yourself, that's when you PR for them instead of trying to do what they do because you might not be able to do it the way that they do it, but you can do it the way that you do it and anybody going to do it like you. You know what I'm saying? I don't let nobody else compare me to my colleagues either because their pathway to where they got to ain't the same as mine. Right. There ain't no telling if they would have made it to where they got to if they had to go through what I went through. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, just focus on yourself, man, and be the best version of yourself every day, and you're going to get where you're trying to go. Thank you, Mike, for the videos. Breaking news. BlackRock has just been exposed for investing $429 million into the Chinese military. The U.S. government has initiated a full-scale investigation, but probably they knew about BlackRock's business dealings before letting the public know about its investment in the last several months. Nine out of ten Congress people that traded BlackRock stock were selling it. Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna sold 130k worth of this stock for months before the investigation. Mm. For more information, subscribe to our free newsletter. This is good. Watch this. Said, the Democratic Party is comprised of racist white liberals. That is correct. Am I a racist white liberal? Well, let's go back. Um, and, and, and let's say, I will say this, that many people in the party don't, are not aware of their own racism. Let's go back to an early part of this conversation where you said to me, are you concerned about the color in the White House? Um, why, why would you ask me that question? Why? Because you speak about black issues. No, but, but, but why, would you, why would you ask me? But let's get to really the nucleus of this. Why did you ask me that question today? Because I'm Why did you feel I needed to be concerned about that? Because you, you're bringing a whole group of young African-American okay. leaders to the White okay. House. Okay, so this is something that I talk about often, is that in many ways, white liberals don't realize that you, you put on that, the racism and the, the conversations that so we you're, have So you're saying I'm a racist. You haven't let me finish my statement. You keep okay. cutting me off. Go ahead. Okay? The emphasis that you place is always on having a discussion about race. Okay? You guys are insistent on having a conversation about race and telling us that we should see, and implying that we should see race everywhere, and I don't agree with that. Yep. If you don't look at me according to the color of my skin, you would simply ask me how I thought that Trump was doing as a president. But instead, you try to drum up a conversation that's surrounded by race. The carrots, the peas, the celery sticks, the meat and the fish will make you sick. All the food is poison. All the food is poison. <laughs> the apples, tomatoes, wheat and the corn, all the food song. is poison. Don't eat the food, it's poison food. So let's talk about it. Here's the headline. Singapore is now the most powerful passport in the world. It grants visa-free access to 195 countries, while the U.S. just dropped to the number eight spot. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is the U.S. dropping so much? Now, in order for you to realize why the U.S. is dropping, you have to understand what's happening globally right now. There's something called de-dollarization. This is when countries are dropping the U.S. dollar as their reserve currency, and they're moving towards other means mm -hmm. of currency. Okay? We have BRICS. Nation BRICS Plus, right? This is a culmination of countries that are all coming together to sidestep the dollar. Okay, the dollar is losing its dominance right now. Saudi Arabia has dropped it. Um, Russia has dropped it from its stock exchange. China is dumping U.S. treasuries. What happens is when the countries start to drop the U.S. dollar, we start to lose more and more value, which is going to cause hyperinflation in this country. Okay, so for many years, our inflation was kept low because we sold bad debt across the world. Now, these guys are getting rid of that, and now the debt is coming back here on us, and we have to do something to save it. But the dollar is debt. Guys, 100 years is usually the lifespan of any currency in the world, and we're right here at the 100th year, so this is bound to happen. Now, there's ways that you can protect yourself, and we have a masterclass coming up next week. So what I want you to do is comment the word blackout 
and then number one. Unsettling because I had myself gone through that. And watching it happen on the show, it was like reliving that all over again. I was reliving that whole thing all over again. Maybe we better not let your dad know about the bike. In fact, maybe it would be best if you didn't even mention, you know, that you came back here. And I gave you all this ice cream before dinner. Why don't we just make it a little secret? You know something, Mr. Martin? You're sneaky. <laughs> sneaky? Yeah. Getting a whole new respect for sneaky. This is what happened in my life. And they didn't know about it. You know something, Arnold? I really like you. Mm. I really like you. You and I are going to have a lot of good times together. See, this is the reason why so many of the child and like teen actors, how they get messed up with like drugs and alcohol to like deal with their traumatic experiences because of working in the industry. It all makes sense on why they're going through what they're going through because of what they went through. We have proof that the Red Sea crossing happened. Like proof, not just artifacts on the bottom. We had those, we had chariot wheels on the bottom of the Red Sea. Mm. We had all these cool little artifacts. But the coolest thing that I saw is the shoreline. If you've ever watched the Ten Commandments movie, they had that big pillar of fire that came down. That's mentioned in the Bible, this pillar of fire. I just pictured these flames coming down. But when you go to that shoreline where, where it's documented to happen, the entire shoreline is melted sand. And it takes about 3,000 degrees or more to melt that sand. And it's evenly melted. You can almost see like footprints. There are stones infused in this melted sand. This is amazing. You don't hear about it. If it was a proof of evolution, it would be in every single textbook. Right. But it's a proof that there was an exodus, like we're having today. You're talking about the exodus, people leaving the cities. Y'all read the Bible because the Bible is our history book. Because they're not going to put this in schools and in your history books. No, that's why we have to read the Bible. It's covered. How to stay completely off the government's radar. How to stop your phone from tracking you. How to hide from thermal vision. And even how to avoid CCTV from tracking you. Guys, this book is full of projects necessary for survival and in a crisis and to help protect your family. This is a Navy SEALs bugging guide. And what it does is help you turn your home to the safest place on earth. I think every home should have a copy of this. I'm going to put an orange shopping cart link down here at the bottom left so you can get one. Struggle now, enjoy your life, enjoy now, struggle for life. Ooh, 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 ooh. Struggle now, enjoy your life. Enjoy now, struggle for life. That is a word. Basically, you grind now so that you can celebrate later. I will never forget the times when I was in school. There were times I had 12 hour days. It was not easy. I had work, but thankfully my job was at my school. So that's why I was there all day. And then I was coming home to do YouTube. Mind you, I'm trying to get my degree to get up out of there. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to pass these classes and do YouTube. I was doing all that. But I'm saying that to say is that I struggled just so now I can enjoy life. The choice is yours. Today's pain is tomorrow's gain. P plus P equals to 28. P plus P equals to 28. How? Please pay attention. Assume you wrap this zero and can we write it here. Then you wrap this another zero. You can you write it here. So you left with one plus one. One plus one which is equals to 2. Take this 0 here <laughs> up and this 0 here down. So you got 28. <laughs> Look at what they did to Bill Cosby. They didn't kill him, but they damn sure broke him. How the hell you harass 30 ugly white women 40 years ago and nobody says nothing until they old and nasty looking. And all together at one time, mm -hmm. all these white women from the 1970s pop out of nowhere and say he must. Bill Cosby didn't go to jail for no harassment. 
Bill Cosby went to jail because him and his wife owned a house in Massachusetts under which they found oil. Mm. And the second largest oil company in the world wanted to drill under Bill Cosby's Massachusetts house. That's and it. he said, hell no. And the next thing you know, he's being charged with sexual harassment. They wanted to bankrupt Bill Cosby, make him sell the damn house through court fees so they could get to the oil. Stop believing what you see, brothers and sisters. Being cloned. Yo, come over here. Sure, you want me to do this? What y'all gotta say now? We know this you is fake. We got the same tattoos, same hair, but clone same genetic structure. Look at my clone. Go ahead. What you gotta say now? I mean, I'll wait all day. <laughs> we gonna go live, bro. I mean, we gonna go viral. <laughs> we gonna go real viral on this one. Speaking of money, how about the 20 bucks you owe me? Oh, yeah. Well, I only got 10, so here's 10, I owe you 10. Thanks. Hey, Mo, you owe me 20. Well, here's 10, I'll owe you 10. Uh-uh, you owe me 20. Here's 10, I owe you 10. Here's the 10, I owe you. Here's the 10, I owe you. <laughs> here's the 10, I owe you. Good, now we're all even. <laughs> Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> huh? Here. Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. Okay, okay, I, I just had to watch it again to understand it. In Asia, if I give you a gift, you would not open it in front of me because that would be considered greedy, that you had no self-control. Mm. You would even put it aside. You wouldn't make a fuss of it. You'd wait till I leave and, and then you'd open it. But in, in America, if I give you a gift and you did that, that would be very rude. You'd be showing no respect. Yeah. In America, if I give you a gift, you would open it in front of me, make a big fuss of it, talk about how much you love it. Right. Right? It's very true. And so these things are contextual. What's the history of shaking hands? It was to show that I don't have a gun in my hand. Right. Basically. Really? Uh, when like, sort of clinking glasses, where did that tradition come from? It was to show that the host, when they invited guests to their home, didn't poison your alcohol. Yeah. Because when you clink one. glasses, the... I don't know if you've been to Oktoberfest and seen no, how I Germans haven't. do it. Right? <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to really do it so that your wine or your beer it spills into, into the other yeah. person's cup. God, I didn't know that. And, I did not know that right? at all. And now, of course, we don't do that. We just do a polite, maybe we raise, maybe we clink. Mm -hmm. But back then it was like a full on, mm -hmm. you know, my drink is intermingled with your drink mm -hmm. and that shows that I'm not poisoning you. I gotta get back to doing those videos. I used to do videos like this and then I stopped. I'm gonna get back to them. You're who are willing. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <sighs> please, please. Mm. Mm. <laughs> there is just no way. <laughs> Let's see how much sugar is in Ben and Jerry's ice cream. 43 grams of sugar for every 188 milliliters. This entire thing is 473 ml. So if we do 473 divided by 188, there's about two and a half times the amount of sugar in this entire thing. So we'll multiply the 43 grams of sugar times 2.5. 43 times 2.5 equals 107.5 grams of sugar in this entire thing. Let's measure that. I'm scared. <sighs> and he's still going. Mm. 
So that's either 23 teaspoons or 30 and a half cubes of sugar in this tub of ice cream. Let's just say you and I own a hotel with 2,000 beds. Right. Okay. We want to know out of the 31 days this month times 2,000 beds, that's 60,000 times that these beds could have been rented, how many times were they rented? We were at 89%. Can we get it to 92%? We need people staying in our hotel to make money. The business model of a hotel isn't to have only 10% of the rooms being used. So what's the business model of hospitals? Uh, I must be totally different, right? Right. <laughs> so we need those beds to be filled. And by the way, do you know what's the number one industry of the most money they did last year? Energy, oil. You know yeah. that's only half a trillion? Yeah. You know what's number one? Hospitals. Yeah. One and a half trillion oh, dollars. Know. Hospital models, I need sick people. Big pharma models, I need new diagnosis. A contractor's model, military contractor, I need war. Mainstream media, what do I need? Controversy, conflict, chaos. When you actually look at the business model of what these guys are doing, Who are you telling they me? need chaos and problems to keep making money. Yes. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Y'all know. Y'all know I would go in. I've been saying the same thing for like the past month now. Y'all, well, low key, like the past year, maybe two years. So I don't gotta go into detail about it. Y'all know what it is at the end of the day. Perfect video to end that on. I just wanna say thank you to all that sent in videos. I know I stopped shouting out because y'all was, get y'all got your shout out already, in other words. I know it was Dez, it was Eric, I had Hector, Mike, JD. Like it was the same people over and over. So that's why I stopped shouting you guys out after a while because I had already shouted you guys out before, but I just want to make sure I gave you guys your shout out again, just in case you felt like one wasn't enough. But hallelujah for you guys. I truly do appreciate it. Learned a lot, didn't really speak a lot. It was mainly more so grasping information or just reflecting on some things. Sometimes your wood just want me to be quiet. Sometimes your wood don't want me to speak or sometimes he want me to go in. But today was like a... I'm just gonna just sit back and just listen to this stuff. Cause I really could have went, I really could say some stuff about that last video, but I'ma just, it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> Cause y'all already know where, where my mindset is when it comes to that. I know y'all see the vibes. Discipline over desire, shopperky.com. The link is in the description. Please, if you haven't done so already, go buy the merch and also take a picture and tag me in it so that you can be featured on my website. If you don't believe me, go to shopperky.com and just scroll and you'll see everybody that took pictures. I shout out them out and I uh, gave credit where it's due. So it's not just your picture. You also get like your at name on there so that people can like go and follow you and stuff. But thank you for all those in advance that have been showing love and support on the merch. If you have liked this video, if you have commented, if you have shared it, if you subscribe, I truly appreciate it. We're on the road to 800,000 people. That's scary. That's a lot of people. But, you know, all praise, all glory, all honor goes to my Saba Yahuwah Lua and my Abba, my Adoni Yahusha Hamashiach for blessing me with everything as a whole because at the end of the day, I'm not doing anything. I'm just a vessel that they're working in and through so I have to give credit and honor where it is due. Y'all thought I was going to go in, huh? Nope, that, that's it for today's video. I got to film some more. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see y'all in the next one. Shalom, shalom. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul. I know my worth.